Okay guys, this is just ridiculous what's going on right now. Right, so here's one, and here's one next to it. Now, I can't get under this leaf. But, obviously all the leaves are moving where I'm trying to, um... I'm trying to sort these all out, and this one has like suddenly turned into a cocoon, and we're gonna watch it. Actually, you can see it right, you know, the light green thing underneath it that's a cocoon. This, look, you can see it coming out. Wow, look at it go. This green thing here that's a cocoon, and look, I guess this is when they shed that outer. Um, body bit. My mum said I should have been a boy. I get way too excited about bug things, but as I said to her, just being interested in animals is not a boy thing. They're amazing. Oh, no, it's doing it so quickly. Like, I, um, I was showing someone the caterpillars hanging upside down. Literally, like, it must have been about half an hour later come out, it was already a cocoon and obviously now we can see how quickly they must do it. Look at that. There's got to be some pretty strong stuff they hang from though because obviously in the wild there would be... Oh my god look. They'd be dealing with like wind and all that having the potential to hit them off like a tree or a plant wow I've got a very slight depth of field because I'm using macro lens so sorry if some of this looks like out of focus but as you can see the black bit is a bit where um that's the bit they sort of shed. Oh, there it goes, there it's hanging there. It's a slightly different colour, it's a very light green compared to the other one, I guess because it's fresh. Maybe it wanted to like hang out by its like brother or sister hanging next to each other for safety oh my god yeah your next door neighbour's gonna hate you wow So I'm probably going to add this video on as its own video because this is just amazing on its own. I'm actually in the middle of moving some of these branches around because the uh, stinging nettles are so low on the ground that I want them to have a better chance when they're hatching out that we can see them and they can escape nicely and easily without getting mixed up in the stinging nettles. And then this just suddenly happened. Look at this. Just amazing, really. So far, I've actually found now, including this one, four cocoons, so or chrysalis, whichever you prefer to call them. Um, but there's still one more out here, and do you know the annoying thing is? They um, decide to turn into a cocoon in the most annoying places. One has turned into one in the middle of a leaf. So. And the amazing thing is, I don't even have to speed this up because it's done it so quickly. Like, I saw it hanging, so I knew it was ready to turn into a cocoon, but I wonder where there's been some movement. 
and it's a possible threat, in the last attempt to just turn into um, its adult self, it's just sped up this whole process just to be like, I'm getting there, nothing's gonna eat me. Like even as like cocoons, they have like little spikes and it's a genius way of um, protecting themselves against predators because if you think they've got spikes and they live on stinging nettles and like nobody likes stinging nettles. And if you haven't seen my previous video on them, I'll put a link below but these will turn into red admirals. So very exciting. They're currently living in a uh, like foot and a half by a foot tank at the moment in a conservatory. So the heat sometimes can speed up this process. It certainly does with things like wax worms and mealworms because I've got loads of beetles going to hatch out. But this is just awesome, and I'm sure that extra bit is going to drop off soon. I found lots of it around by the other cocoons, so I'm going to leave this one a bit before I move any more um, of the stinging nettles because I just want it to get all used to its new thing. This was going to be in my previous video that I was filming. I found some cocoons, other ones, um, that I'm going to try hanging up, so I'll probably do the hanging up video separate to this because it's just so cool. But I'm hanging this one up at the moment. And this one I've just found in a leaf, which will make it difficult to hang up because it's a very short twig. Hang them up from like here, and the twigs go either side. Um, so stay tuned for that if I do do that. Hopefully I will, but I'm just going to leave this uh, cocoon at the moment to sort itself out because it's all very new for it, so I don't want to stress it out. So this has been really cool, um, subscribe, keep up with the progress and I'll probably film when they have hatched and if I get the chance to see them actually hatching I'll try to film that and I will release them so don't worry I'm not going to keep these but this is just such an awesome thing that I couldn't pass the chance to see these guys grow so thanks for watching.